I'm Jessica. I'm a nurse injector here at Synergy at the ITB location, and I've been here for almost six years. Hello, everyone. I'm Gurpreet. I'm a nurse practitioner at Synergy Face and Body, ITB location, and I've been with Synergy for four years now. So today we're going to talk about the lower face. We're going to cover the jawline filler and the Kybella just because they work so together so nicely to give you the best enhancement for the lower face. So Jessica is going to start with Kybella. So when we first have a patient in for an assessment, what we want to look at in the lower face is that if they have any tissue that looks like it needs to be reduced, if they're too full in the back of the jawline and underneath the chin, sometimes these areas can look bulky. And before we want to add any filler for definition, we want to reduce as much as possible so that you can actually see the natural bone structure. On our patient here, she's already had some Kybella. So Kybella is placed underneath the chin and back along the jawline. This reduces fat. It's an injectable. It's called deoxycholic acid and it goes right into the subcutaneous fat, melts that fat away over about two to three treatments. Um, the great thing about Kybella is that once we do it, it's done. You don't have to maintain it like you do Botox and filler. After we get a nice reduction and you can see her jawline um, structures from Kybella, then we'll assess her for filler and see where she could add some definition. So for Jordan's Kybella treatments, she had a series of two treatments, three vials the first treatment and then her second treatment had two vials. I feel like this is a very common treatment pattern for um, patients to see a lot of reduction first and then the second ground maybe a little bit less. When we're doing a full treatment plan for lower face definition, typically we're spreading this out over a few treatments. If you are a candidate for Kybella, then you're going to do those appointments every two months for two to three treatments. After you've had your Kybella, we would move on to filler. The reason why we do this is because with Kybella, you're gonna have four to five days of some intense swelling and downtime, and that could affect filler if it's placed on the same day. This is a great point in Jordan's journey with her lower face definition because we've done the Kybella, she's healed from it, and now we're ready to move on and show this definition that Volux can bring. So now that Jordan's ready for the jawline filler, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the jawline filler. Um, specifically Volux. So what is Volux? Volux is the most recent and the only FDA approved filler for the jawline. Um, it is still hyaluronic acid. That means we can dissolve it if we don't like it. Um, the uniqueness lies in its properties. It has the most G prime and cohesivity. What that means for you as a patient is that it can provide you the max lift and it can provide you the best definition because it can hold its shape together better than rest of the hyaluronic acid fillers. So why do I like the jawline filler or specifically Volux for the jawline? Um, what are the few things I can do with it? So I use the jawline filler for two different approaches. One for a young patient like Jordan, where we're trying to just give it a little bit of a definition or trying to work on the pre-gel area just to give it a little bit more sharpness or sometimes I can use it proportionally if someone has, you know, say their mid face width is a lot more than the jawline, we can just bring things more in balance. Um, but the second approach is not just for the enhancement, but for the restoration. A lot of the things change as we age, specifically the mandible, it loses its uh, projection, height and definition, and you start to look more recessed at the jawline you start to see some of the gels, you know, it could be the reason, could be um, the bone remodeling or superficial fat that descended from the mid face. But then also you start to see more of that pre gel space and that indent gets more and more prominent as we age and the gel link starts to look a lot more stronger. Um, then we move on to the chin and chin should always be treated together with the jawline. It's an elongation of the jawline, and we cannot just skip that place because it's just together. Uh, for the chin, that some of the things that change is, you know, it, it reduces its length, its projection, and the start, skin starts to look more shadowy, and overall together, all these things make the lower face looks a lot more heavier or saggy. So with the jawline filler, with Volux, we can provide that support laterally, I can improve the pre-jaw area, give it more like a straighter jawline, more like a hockey stick rather than a W, and I can improve the projection for a better 
um, you know, profile, but also tightness to the lower face. So in together, you just look a little bit more lifted and more enhanced, um, a little bit more refreshed. All right, now that Jordan is here for her filler appointment today, we want to do a quick assessment of her face and see where exactly she needs filler. We've done Kybella, that was the first step, her first two appointments, and now looking at her face and what she has left over, we see some fullness in the lower face where she wants to see more definition. I feel like this is very common with patients that come in and want to see more definition in their lower face, but they actually don't realize is that where this fullness is here, we don't want to add filler because it can make the face look bulky. So adding filler in the mid face out laterally can help to lift into her mid face, but also along her jawline. So we're displacing some of this tissue to show off her natural bone structure. And then once we fill that mid face with some Voluma, we can address her lower face and add the Volux filler there. So like how Jessica talked about the mid face playing such a big role in pulling the weight up, I'm gonna talk about what we can do with her jawline after she does the cheek filler. So what I see is we can provide her a little bit of definition at the angle. I'm not going to touch any weight here. This would be improved automatically by the mid face. We're going to improve a little bit of the pre jaw space to make it more connected and straighter. And then we'll come in and just improve the submental crease slightly and some of these shadows. I think we have a great game plan with our assessment of Jordan's face. So now we've got her prepped and we're going to start doing filler in her mid face first. So we just injected Jordan's cheeks with a total of three syringes of Voluma, and now that we've got a good pull um, up in her mid face so that you can see her jawline better, we'll go in and sharpen that a little bit with the jawline filler. So here I injected two syringes of Volux for that better jawline definition and one syringe of Voluma for the chin connection. In total, Jordan's plan consisted of five vials of Kybella, three Voluma for the cheek, two Volux for the jawline, and one Voluma for the chin. So in total, six syringes of filler. Thank you so much for attending our session and learning about Kybella and Volux. If you are wanting more information, you can go to our speaker bios and click request follow-up. If you're ready to purchase, then you just head on over to shop where you can get 30% off of filler and purchase Kybella at buy two, get one free. If you enter the code get defined, then you'll receive points for attending the session. Thanks for listening to us and hanging out. Thank you.